Good evening and welcome back from that brief commercial break. We hope you had an easier time getting here than we did. Have you seen the staircases around here lately? Yeah, those renovations sure were a step in the wrong direction. Let's kick off this segment by climbing into the details of a construction project that had Eastview students and faculty alike tripping, resulting in complaints that escalated quickly. Stairs, a gateway to a higher place, and a struggle for most. And somehow they have developed into a crisis. There are 612 stairs at Eastview High School. 550 of these have the black stoppers on them. Ever since they put these bad boys in, every day we have to do the struggle of trying to raise our foot one-fourth of an inch not to fall on our face. As you can see from this video that aired on The Flash in 2002, they were not a problem before. These black stair things were implemented three years ago, and since then, travel hasn't been as smooth. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the rubber black things on the stairs. Just last week fell, hurt my ankle. Well, I mean, I've already seen like four kids today wipe out. It's a danger to society. That's all it is. As most students struggle, it begs the question, why? This question answered and more at 1110. Signing off for The Flash, this is Shane. Uh, Katie, what are you doing? Get off of Tinder. We're in the middle of a show. Hold up. I'm trying to slide in the collab to the rest of the script, but the page won't load. I, of course it won't. Haven't you heard? Her but, well, the internet, it, it, it's done. Done? Yeah, done. While you're trying to process this, let's click on over to Jack and download some more data. It keeps us connected. It's a service like no other, and it's a necessity like food or water. No, he did not! And it's been shut down forever. Because of the recent privacy attacks, the Obama administration has decided the internet is unsafe and it was shut down late last so night. Look at everything that we could do at the government level to prevent these kinds of attacks. And what the government has decided to do was flip the switch and shut her down. This affects both students and teachers alike, as neither are able to access their favorite services. Snapchat, I mean, my score is going to be really low, which is dumb. Well, actually, it's really impacted my ability to do my job. I can't get onto campus, I can't complete my grade, because I can't access my grade book, and we're going to have a test coming up. That might mean that everybody fails. Some students are more affected by this incident than others. Internet? Did you say internet? Where's the internet? Where's the internet? Where's the internet? Let's all learn to enjoy our new Stone Ages view. Do you know where the internet is? Signing off Flash of Jack is this stuff. You know, it might be a little refreshing to take some time off from the internet. You may not be able to get anything off the iCloud anymore, but the SkyCloud still has something in store. Oh, look, it's our resident meteorologist storming in right now. It's just a guess. I just woke up from a nap. This is my day off. What the hell am I doing here? No need to be so thunderstruck. We just need you to do the forecast. Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, our weather expert Noah will shower us with all of the details, whether we like it or not. Seriously, three years of Thank you, Jillian. Now, for all the consistency we've had in terms of the weather over the past few weeks with temperatures gradually warming up, uh, things are going to get rather chaotic in terms of our five-day forecast for the next week. We're going to start out with Thursday over here, which is today, by the way. Uh, and so with that, uh, temperatures are going to spike right around 5 p.m. towards 90 degrees as a meteor shower hits the eastern seaboard. And then on Friday, uh, tomorrow, temperatures are going to plummet to right around negative 25 degrees as volcanoes push up from the eastern seaboard and start erupting, causing chaos there. Now, the reason the temperatures are going to plummet is because those volcanoes pushing up will send a uh, low pressure system over there, causing those temperatures to plummet. Moving on to Saturday, uh, it, temperatures are going to be pretty normal, right around 60 degrees, which is about average for this time of the year. However, there will be torrential downpours causing major flooding through most of the upper Midwest region. However, moving on to Saturday, uh, there will be a high pressure system moving in from the north, which will cause uh, a lot of that flooding to go away, everything will dry up, but because of that dry out, there will be huge drought-like conditions that we are predicting for Sunday. Now, finally moving on to Monday, as you can see, things finally start to normal out. Uh, temperature is 36 degrees, kind of low for this time of the year, but perfectly sunny. Uh, beautiful day in terms of uh, weather, climate, uh, no cataclysmic events. However, because of these events that have happened in the past four days, I don't think any of us will be alive to experience that beautiful day. Back to the anchors. 
boy, I sure hope I can find my umbrella. You know, those flaming balls of fire sure can be a doozy. The sky is not the only thing spitting mad fire. DJ Squall and his crew have been dropping sick beats down in Trap House B122. The flash went out to measure the slope of that bumping group of VC students that had the project into the music industry with alarming force. We get here. Yeah. Every year, Mrs. Geiselhart and Mrs. Benedict's physics classes compete in a music video contest for the best physics-related video. The winners of Mrs. Geiselhart's class were none other than the group that calls themselves Diamonds as Projectiles. I was looking at my finger one night, and I just said, hmm, man, I could throw this, I could throw this dang down across the room. You know, Diamonds as Projectiles. I got paparazzi coming at my life. I got this here uni unicorn, piranha. After winning the class contest, they went on to be featured on KDWB's Dave Ryan in the Morning Show. Um, they were emailing me, calling me, they, you know, they love the song. They love it. Mess with cheaters, measure my horizontal distance in meters. Next time you all sitting on your computers and you all, oh, what rap game is up next? Who's on deck? I've been on deck. I've been on plate. I've been on first, been second, on. third. Been on. I've been knocking home runs out since you've been pooping in your diapers. Half brain, chilling with my crew. My trap house B122. Signing out for The Flash, this is Smoth. It's crazy to think that their career is just springing into action. They have so much potential energy. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe they can be the opening act for the Rolling Stones tour this summer. Hey, do you think we should hey, try? Hey, stay tuned for the credits, you.